A manhunt on tonight for the suspect who deliberately set fire to the mosque the Orlando nightclub gunman Omar Mateen attended. The surveillance video shows a bright flash coming from the Islamic Center in Fort Pierce. Then you see uh, a person, a man there, as you see, running across with what appears to be jeans or sweatpants and a light-colored shirt running across your screen. This is the same mosque uh, th that I was at after Mateen slaughtered uh, people in that horrific, horrific attack in Orlando. But our Bakht, I met him there. He's known Mateen since he was a child. He was worried about others following suit. Uh, he sent me this picture of the fire's aftermath today. You can see uh, the destruction there burning down that mosque. Boris Sanchez is out front. He's in Fort Pierce tonight. And Boris, you know, we see that video with the man running running across right after he uh, appears to light this fire. What do we know about him tonight, the suspect? Uh, frankly, Aaron, at this time, we don't know much about the suspect. That's part of the reason officials put out this video, hoping that someone that knows this suspect might identify him and lead officials to him. What you see in the video is startling. This man was wearing a bandana covering his face, we wearing a hat as well, a button down shirt and embroidered jeans. He shows up here to the mosque at about 1130 last night in a Harley Davidson style motorcycle. And then you see him holding a bottle of some kind of liquid and paper. Suddenly in the video, there's a flash and you see him fleeing the scene. Officials wouldn't publicly speculate as to a motive, but sources do tell CNN that this is being investigated as a hate crime. It's